Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. We hope you guys enjoy it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday. The boys had a one hour late start today. Yes. So we took them into school and we are heading back into St. Michael's. I gotta check this truck out here with the ignition problem and see what's going on with it again. But we're heading into St. Michael's. We're gonna work on a truck real quick and then we're gonna head back together. All right, so we made it out here to the other side of the state line. Two days ago when I came over here, I was working on coil number seven and that one was not seated properly. So I had to do a few things to get it to stick right. And now it stays in there. It's pretty solid. It's actually the one that's not moving around on this side. There was another problem, kind of doing the same thing. So today I scanned it and as I scanned it, it gave me three codes. One said that this bank two is running lean. One said we got a cylinder eight misfire and one says that there's a uh, short detected in the wiring between the PCM and the coil. And as I'm inspecting this right now, whatever this wire is, is catching my eye. Okay, let's see. So under here, that would be this wire right here, I guess. There's that black wire with the green stripe on it. Looks like this is taped up to here. What the heck is all of this? All right, so it runs into this loom right here. This loom runs into a bunch of fuses. Astroflex. I think this might be like remote start or something. But whatever it is, I'm assuming that's what's causing the bad ground to cylinder number eight. That was soldered together, so it was put in professionally somewhere though somewhere this is shorting out and causing number eight to misfire well i looked through the whole thing i determined that there are way too many wires in there to try to find a short with that so i just completely disconnected the remote starting system from that number eight coil after i asked the owner of the vehicle if she had remote start she said when she bought it, she was never told about it or given any key fob for it. So she didn't even know there was a remote start on there. So I just cut the wire and whatever is shorting out that number eight coil should be disconnected from it. So hopefully it runs down the hill and back up. Okay. We shall see. We shall see. Ooh, mama. <laughs> What are you eating, bro? It's fries with mashed potatoes and cheese. No meat. Yep, that sounds like <laughs> sounds like you. Yeah. I am eating nuggets with hot sauce. Whoops. And I got a chicken sandwich. Mmm, chicken sandwich. Gotta put some coleslaw in here, honey. This makes the sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Now that's better. Let's see then. There you go. Mmm. Looks tasty. I <laughs> like the chicken sandwich and I like the coleslaw. So mmm. -hmm. The crunch. Mm. I really like this. The coleslaw, huh? Mm -hmm. It has to have it. This is how you should eat the chicken sandwich, you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good. <laughs> mm. We are on our way back to Gallup. We stopped by in Rock Springs real quick. I wanted to see my mom. I accidentally drove by the 264 turnoff, and I was debating whether or not to come back this way off the 491. Circle. <laughs> and <laughs> I was thinking, ah, oh, man, it's going to be a lot to go back that way again. But I know it's gonna bother me later if I don't come over here and see my mom while we're this side of, while we're on this side of town. 
So we came all the way this way, and I was telling Mama Bear, since I made a big old deal about it, and we decided that we should just go over there and see my mom, um, I said, she's not even going to be home. So we came out here, and we went to my mom's, <laughs> and my mom wasn't home. Nobody was home. Very rarely is my mom's door locked because nobody's there. Usually, there's somebody at the house. That's kind of strange that everybody was gone and the door was locked. So I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy. But I said, what's up to the dogs? And I'm sure they said, what's up to? <laughs> I'm sure. But we're heading back into Gallup again. Or we're back on the track to heading into Gallup. Quick stop here at Thunderbird. <gasps> Thank you, Daddy. Got more babies. We are in between picking the boys up. We have Michael and Draven, and we're gonna pick up Jackson, but we have like an hour. Oh, so man. we came down here to Thunderbird Jeweler okay. Supply. Looking for those uh, Charlotte cut beads that everybody talks about. Apparently, they need to be ordered online. I need to order, I need to order them online. She says there's gonna be no order, so that they sell them in town. Yeah. Well, I guess but, it's time to go away for the baby, or? Yeah, I did get some purple beads, which is really cool. Nice. I don't have purple. Well, I like the purple. <laughs> this is the season for it. Yeah. Mixing earrings first. Yeah, she, yeah, she love the purple it. and black. Oh man, we should have got some more black. down the side of the road right there and uh, we just stopped by there real quick to make sure that nobody was in there and that nobody needed help. The skid marks are pretty crazy. Looks like they went straight through that tee and into that little pond. Yeah they did. <laughs> but nobody's in there. Windows open, airbags didn't deploy yeah, and they shredded their tire. The tires right there. Heading into the school now. I'm gonna sign this little dude out. Hi. <laughs> so we've been back at the house for a bit now. I have been on the computer uh, most of the day. For the evening, I've been getting back to comments and I've been working on editing on my phone. So I've been on the YouTube studio for a bit and my phone back and forth. Mama Bear just called me into the kitchen, so it's time to eat. Ooh, Mama. Look at what's for dinner, guys. Mmm. Thank you, baby. Oh, you're welcome. Dinner still hurts so to good. sit down. Oh, man. Still hurts, guys. It still hurts. Everybody mm. asks me, does it hurt when you're walking around or doing stuff? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> because she's walking and stuff, people assume that, that she's I'm not, not hurting. hurting. But it hurts, guys. It hurts. Every day. Right now, like... My femur on my left side is hurting really bad, as well as with my hip on my right, or on my left side, it's really bad right now. Some nights in the middle of the night, I have to just get up and rub her leg while I'm all half asleep, mm -hmm. and then go back to sleep. Yeah. But most nights, she tries not to wake me up again. She tries yeah. to deal with it herself. Most, most of the time, I try not to let anybody know that I'm in pain. <laughs> but that's what we're here for. <laughs> We're heading in right now. We're gonna drop these dudes up and then I'm gonna hop off at work for a bit. We've got a few things to do later on, so Mama Bear is gonna pick me back up when all that starts. I'm gonna start by taking the struts off of this van. I gotta remove the fuse box. Nice and careful. This is the last of the tray. Now, with these out of the way, I can get to this brace. All right, this is out. Now the windshield reservoir. 
I plug these with vacuum caps. I gotta get to this in a bit. Oh man. We got the fuse box out of the way. We've got the windshield wiper fluid reservoir out of the way. I've got all the wiring out of the way. So I've got this power steering pump right here and I need the puller to get this pulley off because the new one doesn't come with the pulley. And it's always a lot easier to get this pulley off while it's still on the car. So I'm going to have to wait on this a few minutes. Mama Bear has the ride. My tools are in the back. There's no puller here for power steering pump pulleys. So I have one in my bag. I just didn't take my bag off when I got here. These bolts were kind of a pain to get to for the struts, but they weren't nearly as bad as this side. This side was a little different. That back one, I couldn't get to that back one way back there. I've got everything taken apart that I need to on this van as far as getting the struts off from the top. So I got to get it up in the air and I'm going to take the wheels off both sides on the front. I'm going to separate the knuckle from the strut and then I'm going to pull the struts out. Luckily, these come assembled already, so I don't got to fool with that today. I'm just going to pull the strut and the spring assembly out and then put the new one in. Everything looks good under here. All right. Now that I've got it at the proper height for working on it, I'm going to take these wheels off right now. All right, the wheel is off. These don't even look that old. These actually look pretty new. And just like that, these bolts are all taken off. I've got one bolt hand tightened up there holding it in right now. I just gotta gently tap these out. These are made to be uh, pulled in as you thread the nuts onto these bolts here. So these are a little harder to knock out than most, but the reason why they're elongated before you get to the threads on this side is so you can tap it a little bit more than you normally would on another one. So now that these are out, like I was saying, I only had one nut holding this up there on top. So let me, uh, get the other side taken apart this far and then I can put the lift back down a bit and get both of these struts off at the same time. Okay, I got the wheel off. So now, same thing as the other side, this one bolt right here for the sway bar and these two right here for the strut. So once I bust these two loose and take this one off, I will fold this down and then we'll bring the lift down a bit and take out the screw that's holding this one in and the screw that's holding the other one in. I had to uh, crawl up the ladder and get the VIN off of this thing. The owner is picking up some more parts for it right now. All right, so when the old one was hanging on right here, only that bolt right there was hand tightened and it was holding it on. So when I took everything off, I picked up the strut underneath, took that nut off with my hand, and then I placed the old strut down right here, and then I grabbed the new one. I slid it up in there, it slid in no problems. I hand tightened that nut and then I picked up the knuckle and put these bolts in. So now I will put the nut on here and then as I tighten those up, it will pull these through. This one's ready to go. I just gotta put the wheel back on. So everything is good to go on this side. Now to get to this side. As I took all those bolts off, this comes out. And I can also put this with the other one. When I put these in, these three studs right here will line up with 
those three holes. And that's how I get to the top and I put the nuts on there which hold that in from the top. All right, you guys, all the bolts are in, all of them are tightened, the wheels are back on. Now I'm just waiting for that puller, for that pulley right there before I put all of this back on. But while I'm waiting for Mama Bear to come into town, I'm gonna work on the red truck. The red one's got a leaking seal again. And uh, it was the one that we just changed this stuff on. We just changed the seal on it, but a lot of the forums said that if we don't use the Ford ones, apparently they're not that good. So we had to get some Ford gaskets and seals. That's what we're gonna put in right now. All right, after a little problem with one bent prong, we've got it fixed. Well, crazy day again. So, got done with the van, but as I started on this work truck here, this one, there was a leak. <clears throat> There's oil still leaking from the oil cooler underneath next to the oil filter. So we ordered new gaskets, as I was saying earlier. And the gaskets were going to go on, but as I was taking it off, the part that had cracked when we were pressing the, uh, oil, the oil cooler back together, that part is now leaking water from the JB weld that was put on there. So We have picked up the baby, and we are waiting for the trains. Train. It's probably the basketball team. That's what you want, honey? Yes. Of all the trucks in the world, this is what I want. Well, of course, the GMC Cyclone first. But if I could buy an old beater to work on, this is it, you guys. Square body S10. The extended cab one, just like that. <laughs> Those trucks are awesome. <laughs> that little black S10 that my sister drives that I'm always working on for her. Um, when I was in the Navy, I had one exactly like that. But... It had no suspension. I had a 5.7 drop. I had the blue neons. I had the white face gauges. I had yeah. all the cool stuff. My dad used to have an old one like that, but it wasn't an extended cab. It was white. It was a little boxy one like that. I remember me and JR used to sit in the back. Well, I always wanted to sit in the back when my mom and dad were always like, no. Well, mostly my dad was like, no, you can't sit in the back. You're back in the girl. day when it was okay to sit in the back. <laughs> yeah, back in the day when we used to be all right cruising around. Going to the flea market. We had a few of those. TNR, yeah. I remember we had a, an, a. I remember we had an S15, the Sonoma. So it was. Um, it was back then. It was called the High Sierra S15, but it was a GMC Sonoma extended cab, four wheel drive, and it was a nice truck. Had a five speed little V6, so kind of nice. And then the other ones we had, we had a red, an all red one, base cab short bed, and then we had a oh, cool little brown and tan chicken. base cab short bed. Gerald. We just met Gerald in Northside and Gerald and his wife they bought us some chicken for the boys. They always want to help out. They say don't be afraid to ask for help but it's always uh, hard for us to be like okay we're in a situation where we need help let's ask for help. So we don't really realize when it's to the point where we need to ask for help. So I like that Gerald and his family they always want to come out and just offer whatever they can even if it's just buying some chicken for the boys. The boys we love, love it chicken. a lot. Do we appreciate the thought of it, the fact that they come out to even take time out of their day to help us out. We appreciate that. Yes. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Val. Thank you so, so much. We're heading down to pick the boys up right now. They're going to love it. Yeah. They're always saying, oh, I'm hungry when they get in from school. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so they're going to love it. likes root beer so <laughs> just today I, I grabbed root beers. I think everybody likes root beer. Of course. Yeah. Just not grandma. <laughs> like I'll deal with it and I'll have one. But grandma will not drink it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Just kidding. I was about to get out and run across. <laughs> I'll meet you over there. <laughs> we came into Gallup. We are going to make one stop at my brother, man. He's real quick. And then uh, we're going to meet our tattoo clients. And then we're going to head back to the house. So on the way in, we passed a fire station. There was a sobriety checkpoint. The New Mexico State Police were hanging out, checking checking vehicles, checking registrations, I guess, insurance. Okay. The tattoos are pretty simple tonight. Nothing too crazy. Just a couple of uh, black line tattoos. It's like, what is it? Like the Pocahontas line. You know how there's that line right here on Pocahontas' arm? That's what they're getting. Black line. Yeah. Okay. Should be pretty That's simple. And then uh, we might have time to run back into Gallup again later after the tattoos. We'll see. From here, you can't even tell that there is a sobriety checkpoint down there yet. We're going back through the roadblock again. They just ask for insurance and registration. Whoa, look at all these cars, bro. This is a pretty cool setup they got going on here. They even got the ones for when they ran. <laughs> After we got home that evening, I did a tattoo and Mama Bear did some nails. So that is how we finished up tonight. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking it out. Thank you, you for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace. Later. Later.